Good afternoon, guys. How are you all doing? Welcome in my room in uh, Shid, my hometown. And uh, okay, let's hide some mess. I just came for a two and a half hours easy recovery ride. Tomorrow we have a race. I went meet my friend Stevan. Check out this funny photo from a ride. We found a huge hole on road, which is not so unusual here in Shid. But anyway, you know that I have so much things to do, but anyway my feeling was i really want to make some kind of video and today we are going to talk about how do i stretch how much stretching is important how to do it when and uh, how much to do it i'm not going to lie you i don't stretch enough and uh, not uh, quite often as i should but uh, even a little bit of stretching will really help you why do you stretch especially after gym trainings and especially after long rides your muscles are sore full of lactate acids and when you stretch out your muscles for example my biceps when you extend it your vascular uh, system is getting stretched but when you release your hand uh, the muscle tissue and everything will uh, spread out a little bit and that will allow your bl uh, blood to flow a little bit more and also there are much more benefits that uh, really come with it with muscle relaxation and of course the movement of your muscle if you shorten it out with uh, some kind of weight lifting you will need to uh, extend it so it doesn't uh, get shortened out which is very important so let's start I just came from a training and uh, of course I took off my helmet I washed my face a little bit and this is the first thing I do while I shake out my protein I will start to stretch out and after that I'll go into the shower it's really not recommendable to do stretching uh, when you are cold down so if you did uh, training in the morning and now it's afternoon after lunch after anything you want to stretch that's maybe a myth maybe it's not but I highly recommend you not to stretch out when you are cold it will definitely hurt you much more it won't feel comfortable and I'm pretty sure that the effect it's not the same so when I come from a ride uh, first I do stretch my arms my shoulders a little bit especially now when they are sore a little bit from the gym training yesterday also my legs are and my glutes pretty much so just put the camera over here and I will show you a little bit this is something that you would actually need to do in your footing in the morning so you stretch out all your joints or your muscles a little bit before the start of your day and that will definitely help you to feel better during the day but I do this just as much as I feel the pain. So when the pain stops, when I feel it, it's okay, I finish. I don't do anything by some kind of big uh, rule because I don't think that is much important. There are some kind of exercises that you strictly need to do on this way. You don't need to stretch out and you must not stretch out on some kind of way that will injure you. But if there is some kind of angle that's hitting the muscle most and that's not by some kind of rule, definitely I will do it because I feel it that it helps me the most. So that's how I do it. Now I'll do just, you can hear... Oh my bones that's that's not just right sound but it really helps me relax i stretch out my you know shoulders a little bit i definitely use foam roller when i'm home to roll my back to roll sometimes my shoulders and most of my legs but right now i don't have it here so i'll just do it a little bit stretch definitely when you want to stretch out you want to do it on flat solid ground not on your bed not on some uh, thick carpet not on something that's not stiff so definitely here so you can feel everything and you don't bend out something that shouldn't be done like that so now let's get on the ground definitely first thing i do is sit like this and stretch out my rear of the legs my glutes and a little bit of my calves also I try to put down my head because that will put some pressure on my back and also stretch out my spine. The most important thing is not to uh, like do this like jumping, you just hold it solid, you feel slightly pain, you know that tickling on your back, 
but don't push it too hard you can injure yourself especially when you are warm you don't feel when you are pushing too hard so just on the edge between good feeling and bad that's just the right place to do it and remember no jumping and I hold it like this for 10-15 seconds and for every part of your body I recommend it to do it twice you know just first time you cannot maybe do it so so good but on second part you will when I finish it like this I'll sometimes put one leg like this and also with two arms now now you just concentrate on one leg what what is good for glutes is to something like a slow squat always your heels on the back you take your arms and you will definitely if you are sword feel pressure over here and with your legs your your arms your elbows you push your uh, knees outside and that really stretches out your glutes and this inner part here also if you have some weight if this is too light for you you can take some weights in your arms and then just move slightly that will stretch out even more next pose for also your glutes and your outer part is lay on your back you put one leg like this above your knee you take your arms like this with your elbow you hold your knee push it a little bit in front so it's some something like 90 degrees and your head on the floor and you slightly slowly uh, take this left leg towards you and push with the elbow the knee of the right leg outside and that stretches out this outer part and a little bit of your glutes also one more variation of this for your glutes take your left foot over your right knee and you spread out your arms just for stability and you push it down you push your lower back in front and your shoulders to the back and you also stretch out this part also on the other side next thing again for your glutes right foot over your left knee left arm over your right knee and you push with your left arm outside and your back you look then something for your front calves i'm really not sure how is this muscle called sorry but to stretch out this this can really hurt when i do some strength intervals because your leg is so stiff with your feet position so it really pushes some pressure on this so i just put my feet like this outside uh, definitely if you want to hit this your feet that must not go outside because then you will put pressure inside so you need to put your feet like this and some days ago i could lay down like this but no now i probably cannot or maybe i can wow but it hurts me so i'll just slowly slowly lay down and that's how i stretch this part repeat all of this as much as i feel it now as i told you from yesterday i feel soreness in my uh, glutes so i'll repeat that couple of more times and also one uh, that you for sure uh, did in your school is against a wall so you put pressure on your calves something like that and of course for your quads everyone knows to do this it really really means you everything also during a long rides when you do a short stop short pause you definitely before some long climbs you do this it will really help you a little bit to get rid of those, that soreness and a little bit of acids 
Guys, I really hope that this video helped you a little bit. I really felt that I want to do some kind of video, so it's maybe a short, but definitely it will help you. It will improve your recovery, it will make you feel better, you could uh, longer sit on your bike, and it's really one big part of uh, any kind of workout or exercise. Thanks for watching and see you in another video.